Will Sony stick with VR or abandon it like they did with the Vita, 3D, PSTV, PlayStation Phone, PS Move, PSP Go, etc.? Wow, it, Sony just sort of leads from behind, don't, don't they? Um, <clears throat> which, which is funny because at the swap meet a few weeks ago, I did see like a the PS Go sports game. Like, like, like remember the one oh, with yeah, the yeah, shield? Yeah. And it was like $2. You know, um, and of course they used to make fun of the Wii Wiimote controllers for having oh you move around and then coming out with their own version. I think Sony's doing whatever they can not to go bankrupt, every, you know, and lose more money. And obviously, it's more a problem with Sony as a whole with no one buying their TVs anymore uh, versus um, the the PlayStation consoles. But they don't seem to just make this... They seem to just follow trends versus trying to start their own. Yeah. That just seems to be... Look at the list of the things here. That this shit was all gone with... A lot of stuff was gone within like a well, year. even the PS4. I like the PS4. But uh, how did the PS4 get successful? By looking at what the one did wrong. Yeah, well, the Xbox conference. One coming out and saying, Oh, we're going to have DRM. Oh, we're not going to have DRM. We're not going to do that. They're answering. They're not... They're not, they're not they're, leading. They're not... Yeah. Um. So, yeah, the PSP Go... With the downloadable games and that, that that did awful. People still call me for them every once in a while because I mean they have nice screens, they're nice little systems. You can crack them and load them. But I, I remember when we did the PS TV on the podcast. So like, the, for, remember about the first or second podcast? Yeah, we talked about the PS TV. Did that even last a year? No, it was discounted to like a third of its normal price. It, it was like very, what? Very quickly. It was like the, it was like a mini console that you stream to the TV. And it was then a you streaming box, games. but you could play like Roku. You, you could play like, certain Vita games or downloadable like PSP and PS1 titles. Just awful. Just like the, well, the cool thing was is you could use it as a PS4 extender. So if you had a PS4 in the living room and you had a TV in the bedroom, you could play PS4. Okay, for those 14 people that bought one, I think with VR though, VR is not going to be a system seller for any one of these systems. So. They're gonna stick with it because they're gonna they're gonna sell they're gonna sell a certain percentage it's probably the same percentage of people that would buy it for use with the Xbox One will buy it for the you know the PS4 so I mean to me that's more it's an accessory they'll make money on versus getting rid of it you know what I mean yeah it's gonna be available publishers or developers will either use VR in their game or not so it won't be Sony as controlling that as much 